What's up? Welcome back to Third Person Podcast. This is my name is Chris, and with me as always are my buddies Jesse and Mike. How's it going? What's Guys, up? we're gonna be reviewing Walking Dead Season 7, Episode 11, entitled Hostiles and Calamities. That's right. If you guys don't know, we have a review system. Jesse, what is it? Real quick. So basically, you're going to go through story rating, visuals, characters, music, and then our overall using the rating system walkers on a scale of one to five. Damn yes, Skippy. What did you guys That's think of this right. episode? Because this episode was definitely an episode. And here to tell us what he thought about the episode. Unlike last episode. Uh, unlike last episode. All the way from Yemen, our friend Mike. Hello, my friends. <laughs> yes, Mike here from Yemen. Dude, Mike. Uh, <laughs> it's actually not. It's pronounced. It's not pronounced Yemen. It's pronounced Yemen. Yeah, yeah, man. <laughs> All right. So I'm not gonna go too crazy like I did last week, but I was still not very excited about this episode mm -hmm. uh, this week. So let's get into the story. I'm giving it a two. Ooh, God dang it. Mira. <laughs> yes, Mira, I'm a little. I'm a, I'm gonna be a little hard because you know. I, I know, unlike Jesse, I'm not a big Eugene guy, and I couldn't stand him crying one more second of this episode. Um, I do, in, I do like uh, Dwight's character, and I was there was a couple scenes with him um, that I kind of uh, felt for him a bit with, uh, you know, Sherry's note and, and whatsoever. Um, the Did only you other fall part, for him, or you felt for him? Felt no, I didn't fall for him, Jesse. Oh, okay. I felt for him a bit. You didn't, and I do like his character better than fucking. Mr. Crying fucking wet pants all the time. Fuck. Hey, Eugene gets better. Crying yeah, well. Pants. Crying so wet story, pants face. Yeah, crying wet pants. Uh, Dr. Wet Pants. So basically, I give it a two. I wasn't so excited about this story too much. And we didn't really see much of Negan. I mean, it was basic Negan kind of stuff. Yes. Um, the visuals, I'm also giving it a two. The walker on the fence in the beginning in, in, uh, in the sanctuary... When the when the the guts just fell out of it, I thought it looked all right. You know, nothing too exciting for me. Uh, better than CGI last week, though, from the junkyard. Um, yeah, I, I wrote um, and the iron. I don't know how you guys feel about the iron, but couldn't they, they have used? See, I didn't. I I thought it looked like shit. They can use an iron. A real actual iron in the flames and let it get hot itself and then oh, they I thought no. you the actual iron and, that they were pouring on at the end. No, no, because no. that's a and that, then use a chain. They can switch it when they're no, about that's to a lift cast it. iron. Well listen, we'll talk about that in discussion. Let's move right, forward. Well, anyway, move forward. I wasn't I wasn't too excited you with that. So I'm like giving that, the visuals okay. a two. There really right. wasn't much that we had to get excited over about in this episode. All right. Okay. Um, character dialogue, uh, characters themselves, I'm giving it a three. Um, the little bit we seen of Negan, um, you know, it was that kind of typical Negan character that we've kind of grown to love, even though we can't stand him. Um, I, I did. Hate. Yeah, exactly. And like I said earlier, I do like the Dwight aspect of this story. I mean, it was really just him and Eugene. And I'm not I, ugh, I just can't stand Eugene. Okay. Uh, but I'm, I'll still give you a positive three. And then the music, I'm giving you a three on the fact that I did like the, the music that was playing after um, Eugene kind of debowed all that shit from the from the girl at the uh, at the desk with all the oh, supplies. Yeah, 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 yeah. He kinda, it was like kind of like one of those winning like I just you know stepped it up a notch kind of a thing. Yeah. And the Easy Street, despite how much I hate that fucking song. <laughs> It's it's it, Jesse must have sang it fifteen times since this show has been over. Oh. So you know it is very catchy in that way. So overall, I'm giving it a two point five. Uh, okay episode. Okay. Okay. Yeah. My turn. Your yes. Turn. All right. Uh, story. I'm giving it a three. Giving it three walkers. Um, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I'm not the biggest Eugene fan, but I do find him entertaining. So I thought it was kind of interesting to see how he would be in this. I agree with, I agree with Mike on fucking the fact that he's just a sniveling. That's like getting fucking annoying. Um, yes. however, there was some funny stuff in it. I, I enjoy his antics. I enjoy his dialogue. I love how he speak when, when he speaks, the, the, I love the, the words he uses while he speaks and it just flows out naturally. Like it's his natural speech. Meanwhile, normally it's something you would write. Yeah. If you you know what I'm saying, he well, speaks he's very as scientific, if, you know, like robotic. 
Um, I uh, there's also some funny stuff where, where like you said, when he deboed that shit, and then he he's like, and I'm taking this, and I'm taking this, and he goes, and I'm and I'm I don't know what this what the name of this thing is, the little teddy bear. He's like, I'm gonna call it Gribbly Glonk or Gribbly Gronk or whatever the fuck he calls it, Gribbly like, Gunk or something like that. Yeah, and he's I'm taking shit. this, and then later on, he's got it in his his lab coat. Um, and it, you know, like, you know, he's like he's walking around with pickles. So, um, you <laughs> know, uh, and as far as the Dwight stuff, again, uh, it, it, the part of the three is going to be like the Dwight stuff was kind of messed up. You know how he mm. he backstabbed the the uh, the doctor and the note that Sherry left him. So, I mean, there were some interesting story elements that get to three visuals. I gave that a three also because um, we got to see more of the sanctuary and how it worked. Okay, and, you know, and again, maybe also part of the story, this is also part of the story, but we did get to see some of the other things. We got to see the, the tray of peanuts that we saw from our, from those images, those sure. preview images, you know, um, and uh, also the walkers. The walkers were, uh, I thought the walkers were pretty sexy in this episode, you know. I, I actually appreciated that, the guts falling out, you know, like I thought that was kind of cool, and then all those idiots <laughs> just sitting there like, I don't know. So uh, the visuals, you know, and well and just like the room and then like you have yeah he was playing yars revenge you know and it's like i liked it you know like i, I liked all that stuff with the atari and like the, the just uh the, all the i don't know i just i i, I liked that i thought the visuals were okay so three that gets a three for characters um i gave the characters slash acting i gave it a three uh you had eugene being eugene which take it or leave it good or bad whatever negan definitely just being negan again uh, you know, uh, again, good or bad. I know some people have issues with him being Negan, but I, I enjoy him being Negan. It's, it's cool. Yeah. You know, JDM does pretty good. Um, we got to see some of his wives and, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty okay. You know, they weren't, they weren't as annoying as I thought they were going to be uh, a little conniving, but then again, you know, a little. They're, they're, well, they're in a rough position, you know, uh, my yeah. favorite, my favorite of these, all the characters were, we also got to see all his cronies and either they're sleepy or they're mad faces. So, all his damn cronies are just either just half asleep or they're yeah. just mad. They're just mad for no reason. Like, why are you angry? What do you, you don't even know this guy. Why are you so mad at him for? Yeah. You know? Um, and I mean, all, it could be like me, you know, just naturally looks ticked off. Yeah, just, just naturally mad all the time. So, yeah, yeah. so I gave this uh, characters a three. Uh, music, I'm going to give it a two um, because uh, I'm giving a plus and minus because they played Easy Street. Um, I thought it was funny, yeah. but also annoying. Uh, yep. I, I agree with you, Mike, about that the song they played after he fucking pulled out, pulled that stunt. Um, but then mostly there was really nothing, you know? It's, yeah, it's, really. It's just nothing, so it gets a two. But uh, my rating uh, works out to be around, I'm going to give it a three. So my overall rating for this is going to be a three for this episode. Not the best episode, and yeah, we were kind of like, oh, it's, uh, it's boring. <laughs> How but... much longer? Yeah. Uh, you guys were. Yeah, I was like that last week. Yeah, true. Uh, we all were like that last week. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. So my turn, I guess. Story. It was a slow burn, but near the end, it really did pick up. So gave it a three. Visuals. Uh, okay. Huh. What? Okay. Go ahead. Go. Huh? No, no, you had, you had an opinion there. Uh, visuals. They were overall good. I liked them. I didn't really base it off CGI because there was like one or two instances of CGI. But every scene felt well put together based on the visuals in the room. Yeah. Three. Characters slash acting. Don't mind. Eugene was Eugene. <laughs> and the wives freaking plot was so predictable. It kind of I, for, yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. But Jeffrey Dean Morgan did a great job. So yeah. another three. Yeah. Music, one sentence. We all know what it yeah. is. Yes, we do. We're on Easy Street. I gave it a four. Right. <laughs> for, for easy, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, for and, just for Easy Street. And just don't mind, street. don't mind the train in the back. Jesse actually oh, yeah. lives on the Polar Express. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's so, recording. He's, yeah. That's why, if you notice his video is a little, a little jagged sometimes, it's because he's on. Yo, it's hard to get on the move, so there, it's hard to get a, oh, yeah. hard to get a Wi-Fi signal. Yeah, something. I'm passing by Santa's workshop right now. Yeah, but <laughs> overall, it, it was a middle ground episode. I liked it. Three point five. Three point five. Okay, cool. Very cool. Um, all right. So I believe that's a grand total of a three rating for all of us. Overall, gives it a three. Yep. 
Yay. Yep. Overall. Uh, that was a middle ground episode. It was a middle. Yeah, I agree. I think it was, it was. It was, it it was, was a middling. I mean, we call that, we'll call it a middling episode. Like you said, there were some cool things with it, um, especially towards the end, you know, when he's, I'm, I'm Negan. I'm Negan. I, 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 I was Negan before I met you, and, and now I finally met you. And, and then he says to Dwight, he's like, you're Dwight, and I'm Eugene, and we're Negan. You know, like, um, so, yeah, uh, there's some questions to be answered about what's going to happen next with Eugene. Right. But, um, but right. yeah, like you said, middle ground episode was what it was uh next episode looks to be pretty interesting is you know better than the last two at least it looks like but we'll see but we'll see so guys uh that's gonna do it for our review of this episode season seven episode 11 hostiles and calamities uh which of course was a line that he says in this episode eugene um guys if you want to if you if you didn't know already we are also now on itunes so if you listen to this on itunes thank you very much if you wouldn't mind leaving a little bit of a rating that would be great help other people see it on itunes that'd be cool if you're watching the video version of this on youtube thank you very much don't forget to leave your comments down below of what you would rate these uh this episode and i want to thank everyone for doing such you guys have been awesome in doing that it's really cool um and don't forget we still have that promo code going with our friends from comic blitz where you can get three months worth of comics for three dollars for a dollar a month three dollars unlimited comics wowzes that's a great deal that's amazing so go to comicblitz.com and check that out and i think that's gonna do it for us this time on the review so thank you very much guys and uh we will see you next time